there are few days like opening day and here a great setting in St. Louis as the Blue Jays open up the 2023 season against the Cardinals. We are thrilled to have you with us from coast to coast to coast for what should be a very exciting year of Blue Jays baseball. You know, one of the biggest X factors for the Blue Jays this year you would imagine is this guy staying healthy because he has shown in his two years with the Blue Jays that went healthy he is still uh, an elite offensive player and the 2 2 on the way and it's lined to right center and down for a base hit and Springer is aboard to lead off the season. So now Bo Bichette coming off a year in which he hit 290 with 24 home runs. Bichette sends one up the middle and that's going to drop into center field back to back base hits to get it started here in the top of the first and it's a long fly ball to leave runners on the corners with one down is now Dalton Varsho Bichette not going and this ball is ripped into right field for a base hit Springer in to score Bichette on his way to third will be held there and Varsho's first regular season at bat as a Blue Jay is an RBI double. He found out some tough breaking balls. He stayed alive. Springer comes in to score the first run of the season, driven in by the new Blue Jays left fielder. As now Alejandro Kirk steps in. Kirk is always the personal catcher of Alec Manoa, so that's why he has drawn the assignment here on opening day. A soft liner into center for a base hit. Bichette and Varsho in to score, and it is three to nothing. I agree with you. He can hit in his sleep. He doesn't need many in bats. Alejandro Kirk drives in two. And boy, you talk about improved base running. We saw it right there with Varsho running from second. He read it perfectly. Knew it was going to drop into center field. And the Blue Jays come up with a big start to this ball game. Big wins, big innings, big moments. Alec Manoa answered every challenge last season for the Blue Jays. He's in a bit of a jam here. An infield hit, an error, a walk. First and second, nobody out for the reigning National League MVP in Paul Goldschmidt. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. 95 on the outside corner for out number one. Wilson Contreras. Shot towards second. And Merrifield is there. He did try to fill that hole, but went in the right place at the wrong time for the Cardinals catcher. And Springer is two for two. So he's at first with one out for Bo Bichette, who had a base hit his first time up. Lines a ball to right field. It is down and headed towards the corner. Springer on his way to third as it gets through the legs of Walker. Springer will come on home on a double by Bo Bichette, and it is four to one Blue Jays. Brendan Donovan infield hit scored the first run. Two on for him with one out. He will not. And the ball is lined to right field. Springer makes the catch. A great diving catch by Springer for out number two. Well, already we've played two innings. We've seen two pretty good plays from the outfield. Dalton Varsho facing a lefty with runners at second and third. One out. The infield backed up except at third base. And he does line the ball the other way. Hits it well. The catch is made. But Springer will tag and easily come in to score. With the Blue Jays down, John Schneider is going to send a pinch runner out. And that means this will be the official Major League debut for Nathan Lucas. 28 years of age, spent last year at Triple A Buffalo, had a, a good year, and got the last position player spot on the team this year. Chapman at the plate with a go ahead run. And he lines a ball into right center, a base hit. Lucas around third and will score with ease as Chapman drives in the tying run. Well, how about that? And Matt Chapman says, My goal is to hit the ball the other way. Uh, he comes through big time here in the seventh inning. How about Nathan Lucas in his first big league games and scores the tying run? And that one will bounce off Contreras and way up the first baseline. And I think Contreras a little bit shaken up. I don't know if it got him on the toe. But that hit him very, very hard on that. Shin guard. Now Guerrero with a great opportunity here. Second and third. Nobody out. And he dumps one into right field for a base hit. Springer in to score. Bichette runs through the stop sign. He will score. And Guerrero takes second. It is 8 7 Blue Jays. Well, they caught that. Louis Rivera certainly had the stop sign up. Bo ran right through the stop sign, and Guerrero is credited with two RBIs. 18 hits now and here's George Springer who's got four of them four singles and he has scored four times tying run at third go ahead on it first and this one to shallow left center and dropping in to score is Merrifield Kiermaier all the way around 
to third. Another blue pit for George Springer, who is now five for six in this game. In the air to center field. This is plenty deep enough. The catch made by O'Neill. Here comes Kiermeyer, and the Blue Jays have taken the lead. Lars Newton with Paul Goldschmidt now out of the on deck circle. Face Jordan Romano. And he got it. Jordan Romano strikes him out and retires the Cardinals in order. And the Blue Jays win this wild game on opening day by a score of 10 to 9.